so good morning uh, children so today we are going to discuss about that in our fifth class we already discussed about the topic amma okay na we discussed the different different type of uh, growing of a healthy plants and pesticides what we used and everything we discussed in our fifth class now today we are going to discuss about that in our fifth class is the exercise problems or exercise uh, fill in the blanks are there choose the correct answers are there everything i am going to discuss with you right now let's we start that is a page number 268 what is it 268 then a Okay, now I'm going to write the question first, then after that I'll explain to you, okay? Which of the following is not a part of seed? Okay, now see here, which of the following is not a part of a leaf? So listen, actually is a, this is a question they ask that, so which one is not a part of leaf? Okay, first the embryo is a part of a leaf or not? No, right? So seed coat is a part of leaf? No. And cotyledon is a part of a leaf? So no. Is it correct what I am saying? Just after that I will explain. Okay, na? and leaves is not a part of a life, a leaf. So here, this is a uh, right. Which one embryo? Embryo is nothing but it is a what is that? Sorry, part of not leaf. Amman, it's a seed. Seed. Sorry. Question is small difference. Is seed. Okay, the embryo. Embryo is related to the part of a seed. Correct or not? So we have three, so embryo, seed coat and cotyledon. So which is not a part of a seed, the leaves are the part, not a part of seed. Yes or no? That is the correct answer for that. And second one is, <clears throat> okay now next one i'm going to say that new plants can grow from the leaves of 
so where then uh, new uh, what is it means plants are ready to grow onions are there is it possible to leaves are ready to grow the new plants no this is sweet potato is possible to leaves are ready to produce a new plant no but ginger no because roots only right so which one bryophyllum is a one of the so leaves can ready to produce a new plants okay na so that's why which is the correct one c is the correct one okay na right now third one right so which future helps a coconut fruit to float over water so this is the question number the third question they given which future helps a coconut fruit to float on over a water presence of hook or presence of spine or a spongy part or a fibrous outer covering you know the coconut fruit the coconut fruit is right to have that is a so fibrous type of a uh, arrangement will be there on a above of a coconut fruit yes or no so that's why it is right to travel in on a water that's why so which is the correct answer that is a d is a correct answer a fibrous outer covering that's why it is right to float on surface of water clear now all of you right we'll go for the next one and the next one is a fourth one i'll rub it and then i'll write it okay now
so this is the fourth one i am going to explain the plants that need clay soil to grow well are so which plants are need the clay soil to grow the well are so which one am you see that rice and jute is right to possible to grow that plants and tea and coffee and wheat and gram are jowa and bajra which one is right to just use that in our uh, clay soil means you see here and rice and jute that kind of the um, crops are right to use that kind of the plants will grow in a clay soil only yes or no is it correct in your textbook also they given once you see <coughs> what it will be the clay soil they given the rice and jute grow in a clay soil which holds plenty of water 285 page they given okay na once you said uh, check this is a rice and jute is a correct answer for that okay na i am going to take this one that is rice and jute and fifth one okay now the pesticides protect crops from being destroyed by so what does it means pesticides are protect from the uh, crops from being destroyed by which one means excessive rain or elephants or pests and drought for what purpose we are going to use that kind of the pesticides to okay right to protect from the pests correct or not so which one is the correct answer this is a pest right okay so these are the five completed and next one uh, we have so true and false statements are there i am going to write the true and star false statements we'll discuss okay na so complete this one and take in your book or otherwise you write in your notes okay na right i'll drop the board okay so be bit now state <coughs> state true or false first one i'll write then after that i'll explain first one so this is a statement now all seeds grow into new plants is it correct all seeds are right to grow in a new plants all seeds grow into new plants correct or not so most of these two uh, 
seeds all are ready to grow like a plant only correct so that's why so all seeds grow into a plant is a statement is it true or false true right right correct and next one second one is a Now, the seeds of xanthium have hooks or spines. You know, xanthium, so xanthium kind of, one kind of the plant is there. Xanthium have a hooks or spines. So, say to me, whether uh, hooks or spines, anything it will write to have. Whether it is a true statement or uh, false statement. Now, it's a, either hooks or spines will be there for the xanthium. That's why it is a true statement. Yes or no? That is a true statement. See here. Okay. And third statement. See, the seeds of puppy are carried away by wind. The seeds of puppy seeds are there, no? it is carried away by wind, whether it is a true statement or false statement. Okay, so uh, what does it mean? The puppy is not carried away from the wind. So that's why it is a false statement. Is it correct? The statement is wrong, yes or no? That's why what we taken as a false statement. The fourth one. Okay, so mustard is a fiber crop. So is it correct that the mustard is a fiber crop or not? Whether it is a true or false? Yes, it is a false statement. Mustard is not a fiber crop. Okay, now. So then fifth one. So pesticides are used for destroying harmful pests. Okay, so now the pesticides are used for destroying harmful pests. Is it correct that is a pesticides are used for the um, destroying the harmful pests? Yes, this is a true statement. Okay, now so understood now. So these are the true and the false statements we given for that. Understood? So next class we'll discuss the remaining things, right?